What's the difference? Watch and learn the difference between English terms. What's the difference is a Caribbean English School production. Hi everybody, I'm Crowley from Caribbean English School and I'm so happy to welcome you back to another episode of What's the Difference? Today's episode is a very special one because it was a request from one of our viewers who texted me saying, hey, can you make the difference between go back and come back, which is exactly what we're about to see in today's episode. Both of them mean to return. And know that you return to a place after having been there. Now, how do you know whether you have to choose come back or go back? You use come back to describe movement towards the position of the speaker, very important, or the listener. Another way as well is if the listener is in the place the speaker is returning to. We're gonna take a very simple example. Imagine I'm in the studio right now and one of the people to help me with the video is out. And I call Mr. Phil, I say, hey, Mr. Phil, I'm at the studio right now. When are you coming back? Which means, when are you returning here at the studio where I am, which is where the speaker is at right now. Another example we could take is, imagine I'm outside or I'm out for lunch or it's my break time and my boss is calling me, asking me, hey, Crowley, when are you coming back to work? When are you coming back to work? And I go like, oh, Mr. Bernard, I'm coming back in five minutes. Which means that's the place where the speaker is at, which is totally different. Imagine I'm outside with a friend and it's already time to go back to work. And I say, hey, you know what? I gotta go back to work. I have to go back to work, which means the workplace is away from me and away from the listener who is my friend. So we just go back to talk about a direction of movement away from the speaker or the listener, which means to return there. That place is away. Let's take another example. Imagine I'm having a conversation with a friend that is in Haiti with me. So I'm telling my friend that I'm, I have to go back to the United States. The first reason is because I was in the United States already. Now I'm in Haiti, so I have to return to the United States. So the best thing to use, the best term to use is go back. I have to go back to the United States. Now to end this video, I want to take a very common example. Imagine I'm a student at CES and I know you used to be a student too, but you stopped for some reason. And I want to ask you to return to CES. And I'm like, hey, you have to come back to see us. It's more beautiful. We have a lot of schedules and a lot of other opportunities. Now, you see, the, the word, the term that I used was come back. You have to return here. Now, the same situation. I'm not a student, and I know you used to go to Caribbean, and you stopped for some reason. So I would say, hey, you know what? You really have to go back to Caribbean because last time I was watching a nice podcast. So you have to go back, which means the listener has never been to Caribbean English school. Well, that's it for today. And I really hope you understood the difference between come back and go back. Like this viewer did, feel free to let us know in a comment box below if there's any difference you'd like us to make for you. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like that. Bye! What's the Difference was a Caribbean English School production.